नमस्ते आई एम डॉक्टर गंगे रेड्डी कंसल्टेंट पलमोनोलॉजिस्ट अट स्पंदना हार्ट एंड सुपर स्पेशलिटी हॉस्पिटल बैंगलोर सो ट्वेंटी फोर्थ ऑफ मार्च वुड बी ऑब्जर्व एज अ वर्ल्ड टीबी डे द मेन इंटेंशन ऑफ दिस इज टू क्रिएट पब्लिक अवेयरनेस अबाउट दिस कंडीशन वॉट इज टीबी इन कॉमन टर्म्स टीबी मीन्स इट इज ट्यूबर क्लोसिस सो ट्यूबर क्लोसिस इज अ क्रोनिक डिसीज विच इज कॉज बाय अ बैक्टीरिया कॉल्ड माइको बैक्टीरियम ट्यूबर क्लोलाइ सो TB can affect any part of the body lung is the most commonly involved however it can affect kidney liver brain skin intestine bone and lymph nodes so what are the causes or what are the predisposing factors to develop tb so tb can affect any and every patient especially in countries like india where the burden of tuberculosis is high not necessary that always a person should have some predisposing factors however loss of immunity or poor immunity or patients who have chronic diseases like hiv patients who are on chemotherapy are more prone to develop tuberculosis when do tb symptoms start so in general as we know that pulmonary tuberculosis is the most common form of this tuberculosis so generally the symptoms would be chronic cough fever and weight loss however th- there is no specific timeline for the symptoms onset and all that it depends on the overall clinical evaluation and um, general presentation of the patient to decide on whether these symptoms are related to tb or not the symptoms and presentation of this condition would depend on where, which part of the body is involved with tuberculosis so most commonly as we know lung is involved we would be having uh, patients presenting to us with chronic cough fever and weight loss with phlegm production of course how do i know if i have tb so when a patient is suffering from any of the symptoms for a longer duration at least for more than 2 to 3 weeks so it could be chronic cough it could be fever of unexplained origin it could be of weight loss which is not very clear patient has to consult a doctor and try to know what is the cause for these symptoms so generally we call it as presumptive tuberculosis to confirm the diagnosis we might need specific tests like a chest x ray and very simple test for a confirmation of diagnosis is doing a sputum test so this is one of the most confirmatory tests for diagnosing tb in cases of pulmonary tuberculosis so now as we have diagnosed and coming on to the treatment part of it so is the tb completely curable and what is the fastest way of treating tb i am very happy to say this that tb is completely curable the minimum duration of treatment for tuberculosis is 6 months tuberculosis can be treated with anti tubercular medications which are oral medications which have to be taken for 6 months based on the doctor's advice is tb transmissible only pulmonary tuberculosis is transmissible most of the times the transmission can be easily prevented by following these two measures one is hand hygiene and the second one is cough etiquette if these are followed appropriately then the transmission will come down very very drastically and there are certain age group of patients who can be at risk for developing uh, tuberculosis from a patient in a household who is suffering from tuberculosis so those are children less than 5 years and uh, adults who are more than 60 years or people who have comorbid conditions like diabetes hypertension or any of the risk diseases which have which can lower their immunity it is better for this group of people to stay away from patient who is suffering from pulmonary tuberculosis what are the best ways to prevent a spread of tb from one person to another is by just following few good simple hygiene measures we should have the patient particular patient should follow good hand hygiene measures and cough etiquette so these are the generally two measures which can help in preventing transmission of tuberculosis from one person to another Finally we have learned that TB is relatively a common condition in India however the good news is it can be completely treatable with the current medications available we also have to focus equally on prevention of this disease so to prevent this disease we have to have very healthy lifestyles smokers are at more risk for development of any lung conditions likewise tuberculosis to avoid smoking daily exercise have good healthy lifestyle measures eat appropriate food all these can potentially prevent us from developing this drastic disease which is tuberculosis secondly 
when a patient is affected with TB, it's also equally important to protect certain vulnerable patients around him to protect themselves from not having tuberculosis. Finally, to conclude, so the theme for this year's World TB Day is, yes, we can all end TB. So let us all bring about this awareness and contribute towards eliminating this disease from the world. Stay happy, stay healthy. Oh, 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 oh,